The Taliban has claimed that it has completely captured Panjshir Valley, which has remained beyond its reach for decades. The Taliban has also released pictures from government offices and the governor's residence as proof of its takeover. Panjshir was the last standing holdout of anti-Taliban forces in Afghanistan. How true is this claim and has Panjshir Valley really fallen? The Washington Post anonymously quoted a senior official of the National Resistance Front of Afghanistan as having admitted to the Taliban's claims of a takeover. They have also confirmed that Masood's spokesperson Fahim Dashti, a Mujahideen commander and few other prominent faces were killed fighting the Taliban on Sunday. Reports have also stated that senior anti-Taliban leaders including NRF leader Ahmad Masood and Amrullah Saleh, the vice president of the ousted government, are in a safe place. Over the past few weeks, those left of the Afghan army special forces, experienced guerrilla commanders and activists who rejected the Taliban's Islamic Emirate, have been putting up a fight against the Taliban's advances. They had access to stocks of weapons including American helicopters but needed more. They had appealed to the United States, Britain and France to support their uprising by sending arms. However, the resistance was dealt a blow when the Taliban cut off Afghanistan's borders and isolated the Panjshir Valley well in advance. This prevented the resistance movement from gaining access to additional support from outside. Despite the setback, the resistance front continues to maintain that the resistance will continue. Resistance forces on the ground have called for a ceasefire after suffering heavy losses in the battle. The NRF has proposed the Taliban to withdraw from Panjshir in return for refraining from military action. Meanwhile, the US has warned of a possible outbreak of a civil war in Afghanistan if both the factions continue to deal in warfare. A federal report.